Hey everyone, Rob here, and boy, do we have some updates on the earthquakes and seismic activity going on in Iceland. Now, I posted a video yesterday. Shortly after that video, there was a powerful earthquake that occurred at around 5 o'clock in you know, the time in Reykjavik. And since that time, there have been many, many very strong earthquakes that we have felt here in Reykjavik and many, many places in Iceland for sure. So let's start off first by taking a look at the data. You can see here, again, a ton more of these green stars on this earthquake map showing us that, you know, there's a lot more larger earthquakes, more seismic activity that's been occurring in this area. Uh, one thing that we're going to talk about in a second is just how close they are getting to the town. You can see they're spreading out further and further apart. And all of the stars, again, are showing you that it's a some sort of seismic activity earthquake with a magnitude of over three. Taking a look at this chart down here, you can see over time, uh, it's been pretty consistent with the number of earthquakes, but there have been some big ones. You can see here, 5.4 that occurred. So let's take a look at some of this information. If we go to the table and let's just go over, we can see the total number of earthquakes is actually increasing. So we're getting more and more over the uh, time period that they're looking at. And if we go to magnitude of three and larger, we can see two very important things. Uh, number one is there are a lot more of these larger earthquakes occurring in this Kellir, Bartusfell, Grindavik area. Uh, but of course, if we can find the uh, 5.2. There's been a lot of them. So it's, uh, of course, it takes a little bit of time. It was a Sunday at around five o'clock. So we'll just find it here. Da, da, da. So <laughs> just do a little find. 5.2. No. Okay, well, we will find the depth as we're talking. So here it is 5.4. Sorry. We have here 5.4 magnitude at 547 yesterday. And that depth, as we were talking, you know, the depth is important of where these are occurring they are getting shallower. You can see that this large earthquake was at a depth of 1.9 kilometers, and it was only three kilometers from Grindvik, which is uh, the sort of town that's in that area. Uh, now, of course, all of the news agencies are reporting on this. Uh, they are saying that, of course, uh, as we were just looking at, sharp earthquakes magnitude of four was first recorded just after 11 o'clock um, today. The earthquake was then measured about 4.3 kilometers east of Kellir and at a depth of about five kilometers. Now, this is the fifth earthquake at a magnitude of four or higher to be recorded since midnight. And about seven o'clock this morning or at 7.30, there was another earthquake at about 4.7. That woke me up. And then the largest earthquake in this current series we just looked at was at 12 o'clock last night. It had a magnitude of 5.4. And these tremors are me measured, as we just saw, at a shallower depth, which some experts are saying indi indicates some magma flow. Now, one other thing that we want to look at, we're talking about how close this is to Grindvik. The water pipe for cold water to Grindvik actually broke apart during the big earthquake that happened in that area. And it was confirmed by Fannar Jonsson, the mayor of Grindvik, in an interview with the news agency MBF. And he said that the damage is localized and that the repairs are being made uh, throughout in the evening. And he was hoping that they'll just work through the night. And if everything goes well, the cold water should start flowing again in Grindavik today. So we will get updates on that for sure. But taking a look at what kind of stuff we're going through, we have pictures that were submitted from people in Grindavik. And you can see just kind of the damage. I mean, it's the usual stuff of things falling off shelves and glass breaking. Uh, some people have sent in photos of, of their shower doors falling off. But one thing that I think is interesting to note is even these restaurants, you can see as we sc kind of scroll through, there's a lot of people that were dining at these places, tourists, locals, and of course, it's very frightening to have glass shattering all around you. And they were saying that even cement was falling a little bit from the ceiling. So definitely scary thing to experience if you're in that situation. We didn't get any broken glass here in Reykjavik. We're lucky in that sense that we're a bit further away from the, the center and the epicenter of these quakes. Uh, but definitely it is 
uh, unsettling to feel earthquakes like that. One last thing that I just want to go talk about, I didn't even know this existed until a lot of people I know here started getting messages on their phone. They were saying that owners of Android phones now are able to receive a notification on their phone about earthquakes. And they received one yesterday, just seconds after it happened, after that big you know, 5.4 magnitude earthquake happened. And what found out is that all smartphones with the Android operating system, so probably the newer ones, um, they of course can detect vibrations and speed signals that an earthquake is probably going on. And what it does is it detects something that might be an earthquake, sends a signal to Android's earthquake, uh, you know, epicenter, their, their data center, with a rough estimate on the location of the quake. And it combines that information from a number of phones to determine if an earthquake is actually occurring. And, you know, this data from, from billions of Android phone users worldwide is apparently creating the world's largest earthquake detection system. And so the phones are able to detect the vibrations and speed and alert the Android users in the affected area. So very, very crazy that they're able to do that. Uh, and 100% we're going to be keeping an eye on this, I think, the, the longer these quakes go on, the more and more likely of a chance that there will be a resulting eruption. But uh, only time will tell. And as I said, I felt quite a number of earthquakes today so far. I expect that that will continue for yeah at least the next couple of days. But you never know with Mother Nature. So that's it for now. I will keep you updated of any other amazing earthquake news or you know, perhaps an eruption in the near future. And we will see. There's a, a live stream going on if you want to check out the area. Uh, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.